I'm going to talk about idiomotor signals uh, and hypnosis. Uh, the term idiomotor simply means that an idea is producing a motor movement of the muscles of the body. And we, of course, have this in the waking state in what we call body language. We can just nod that we feel yes or shake our head that we feel no. And this is unconscious motor movement. And every muscle in the body has conscious control for conscious movement, but it also has uh, control from the unconscious of various movements. And the in trance, we can use the head movements, but they're kind of gross, and people uh, really do them poorly as they go very deep. But it's easy to do signals with the fingers. But the hand and the fingers have muscles that control the movement of the fingers. And the muscles on the back of the hand control extension of the hand, the wrist and fingers. And the ones on the volar surface control flexion of the fingers. Uh, and, the, and the rest. And in order to have that much movement, there has to be about a five centimeter lapse between the muscle and the tendons that do the movement. And anybody who had a, a pull toy as a child knows that if the string is loose, you can move the string six inches and the toy doesn't move. But if the string is taut and you move the string six inches, the toy moves six inches. So when we're doing signals with the hand, we want the tendons to be taut. And if you flex the wrist and flex the fingers, the tendons on the volar surface are all relaxed. And let me get you to demonstrate that. If you will flex, flex your wrist and flex your fingers, and I'm going to ask you to grip this Grip it tight and flex it. Now pull it out. See if you can see how easy that is. Mm -hmm. But if you extend it mm -hmm. so that all of these are tight, mm -hmm. grab that and hold it tight. Now try to pull it out. Can't do it. Mm -hmm. That's that's the same thing that happens uh, with that. So when I set this up, the key thing is to avoid extending your hand and fingers, which is the most common way people come for treatment, is that they sit in a chair with their hands on the thighs and the wrists are extended. And people say, well, I don't get very good signals. Well, naturally, you don't get very good signals because when your wrist is extended, you can't extend it anymore. The key to it is to flex the wrist. And uh, the way we set this up is we're, we're talking emotions now. If I, oh, this is body language. If I ask you if, without talking, answer this question, is your name Emma? Mm -hmm. 